Wes Colson, and this is your Elder Law Minute. I'm going to let you in today on a dirty little secret that I think people ought to know about how Medicaid transfer penalties work relative to the look-back rule. I've had times that people have said, well, you know, let's just go ahead and we'll get things out of the name of the person who is applying and maybe it'll work and you know, if it doesn't, then in a worst case, because of this look-back rule, there will be a five-year delay in eligibility. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Um, the length of delay in eligibility after applying for Medicaid is a function of how much has been given away within five years. The more that's been given away, the longer the delay in eligibility. Um, if you had somebody with enough money who gave it away and then applied for Medicaid within five years, they could indeed be facing a delay in eligibility for 7, 10, 12 years from that time. Um, moral of the story, if you have engaged in any gifting within five years, don't file a Medicaid application until you first spoken with a competent elder law attorney to find out the consequences of what you've done. It could be a lot worse than what you think. Thanks.